Okay, so you're going to need a banana. You will need a Ziploc bag. One of those that you can actually move along with your hands and it closes. Okay, you don't want to get in air in there really. So try and keep it as flat as possible. You'll need some extraction buffer. In here, we've got a combination of washing up liquid and distilled water. But I'll come back to that in a minute, so be thinking about that. Uh, you need a pipette, which I've left in there ready, a small beaker, a paper towel, a test tube. We're using boiling tubes, they're a bit easier to use because they're a bit wider. And also some ice cold alcohol. Now, this is 100% pure alcohol ethanol so if you get this anywhere near your mouths guys you will end up in hospital uh, cocktail sticks which you'll use two at the end to extract your DNA from the tube so you can have a look so really you want to be sticking them together so it's long enough to get down to the bottom of your tube okay and you'll also need a hand lens which are in these bags you can zoom in and have a look at your DNA okay straight into the Ziploc bag okay Try and push all the air out, because look what I'm going to do to the banana now, and you're going to have to give it a little bit of a massage. Yeah. So if I've got lots of nuclei in there floating around now, because they've all come out of the cells, because I've broken the cell walls, the nucleus, did you know it's surrounded by a membrane to keep all the DNA inside it? Yeah. So the washing up liquid, what do you think that's doing to the nucleus membrane if I add it? So let's break down the nuclear membrane, okay? So you're going to add about 10 millilitres. These are one mil pipettes. So I want 10 squirts. That'll do me. Then try and get the air out again. You don't want air in because you don't really want bubbles. And then seal it properly because we don't want banana and mush squirting everywhere. Okay? So you give it a little massage again. And you try and get all the fairy liquid around as many of those nuclei as you can. Because you want to break down as many nuclei membranes. Because what are we letting out? You want to be setting up a filtration system. So you want one paper towel and you don't want to fold it at all because if you fold it, it'll be too thick. You just want it nice and thin so that all those tiny holes within the paper towel, that's going to act as your filter paper. Okay? You want your small beaker and all you're going to do is just put a little well in the bottom. Try not to poke your finger through. Like so. So it's all banana bits of cells, it's got the DNA floating around now, but we just want what? Okay. Now please don't throw these away, these can go in the wash afterwards, so leave those somewhere to get washed. Right, so we're looking at leaving it for maybe five minutes or so, and there'll be some questions on the board for you to answer while you're doing that in your books. So if I try carefully to show you underneath, how come we can't see the DNA yet? Go on. Microscopic. It is my own nice word. Microscopic. We can't see it with our eyes. We would need a special microscope to see the DNA. But at the moment, I know the DNA is small enough to go through the holes in the filter paper. Filtrate, I'm going to transfer to my boiling tube. Okay. If at this point you see you've got any bits of cells from the banana in there, do a second filtration in a separate beaker with a separate piece of paper because you don't want it to be cloudy with any other bits of cells. Okay. Now at this point, my assistant again will hold. You get some pure alcohol. Now this has been in the fridge, it's icy cold. Okay. And this is the part where you've got to be careful now because you want to try and extract the DNA and get it to clump together so you can see it with your eyes. You drip the alcohol down the side like so, not just squirt it straight in. If you just go all hands blazing and straight in, it's just going to mix up and you don't want it to mix. You want the alcohol to sit on top of your filtrate. So, really slowly down the side, you just squeeze a bit at a time until you've got maybe 10 squirts down. It's where the two liquids meet, you'll start seeing some white, it looks a bit like cotton wool in water. Now that is all the DNA starting to clump together and come out of the solution and into the alcohol. Because it won't dissolve in alcohol. So you leave it for a minute or so, 
and then you'll get your cocktail sticks. You'll stick your cocktail sticks in and try and loop out a big long line of DNA.